Ha! Eh. Uh, I go to go to it. on the beat. Yeah, me holiday. It's a spicy baby. Johnny leave me for Lucinta. Yeah. And I don't know what to do. I need to say I know. Hi. Hello. So, um, how, how did you get started in the music industry? How did I get started? Um, I used to be part of a girl group sometime in my very, very early years called Nutty Spices. And uh, yeah, but then it really started for me <laughs> when I won the talent show in 2009. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to make a what career on my show? talent. That was peak talent Please. show. A lot of money, yeah? I did try. <laughs> cool. So um, after that, was it easy? breaking in because like talent show people usually have like a stigma over them don't they i won't call it a stigma but the because obviously if you look at the nigerian entertainment scene right now most of the guys who are up there are actually talent show winners so whatever stigma there used to be doesn't even exist anymore mm -hmm. but the truth is immediately after the reality shows comes the reality of things the fact that you were just put on the stage you want something you are not a star. You're going to have to walk for that position. A star can't be made in like what two months. It's impossible. So after the talent show, who were the people that really helped you and after put the you talent on? Show. Um, definitely, the talent show was a platform. I already had some fans from that, but mm -hmm. that isn't enough as always. Um, I met someone, uh, a, a manager of mine through a friend, and then after a while again, I got the opportunity to, to get my very first label um, deal, and that was to a fizzy music group. Um, yeah, and that's how you know the story just goes on and on. And our journey is an anthem. Did you think it was going to be that big? Because uh, you had dropped a couple of singles before. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, I had about already. I already had like nine or ten singles out there before Journey, and um, no, I didn't think Journey was going to be that big. Now this is because Journey is beyond big. The word is massive. Yeah. It's it's on. It's it's placed. <laughs> it's on the map somewhere. Like it's like a country of its own. <laughs> um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to the lovers, to the people showing love, and um, uh, everybody. I'm just grateful. Words can't describe it. Do you ever get paranoid about exceeding Johnny with your next singles? Paranoid. The only people who are paranoid about that, I, 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 I don't even know who is paranoid about that. But I do know that um, God is the one that gives massive hits. Really. All you do is do now. For instance, Johnny. I did not release Johnny. Johnny leaked from the studio. I did it now, yes. I didn't release it. My my company didn't release it. It leaked and the minute it leaked we just had to, you know, continue with the yeah, so and then it just had a life of its own. So these kind of things you can't even put a, a, a you can't point your fingers and say, Okay, this is the reason why this song is successful or not. God gives hits. All you have to do is keep working what he has given you and when he wants to bless you again just make sure that your emotion and you slam down. Album time now, uh, King uh -huh. of Queens. Yeah. How did you come up with that? That's such a cool name. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Um, for a long time now, on my BB, I've always my profile name is King Yemi Ali, just like that. Sure. It's just the it's a mindset thing. Yeah. It's the way I feel about myself, my mm -hmm. grind and my attitude somehow. And um, this OAP on my BB one day pinged me and called me King of Queens, and it just stuck. It just made sense. And I grabbed onto it. I just latched onto it like a, like you know, like a drowning person. <laughs> and so I, what, I saw life in it. What, what, what are you going for? A specific theme on your album? A specific sound? Because um, Johnny is like a francophonish type of vibe. Are you going <laughs> that vibe throughout? Well, of course not. Um, that would be just be that would just be boring, you yeah. know. But um, I'm going with my genre, and I, I call it Afropolitan. Afropolitan in that is a merge of um, the Western and African music. African music um, being the major four genres in this category of music is uh, for me Afro, High Life, Pop and R&B. Yeah, that's nice. What type of producers are you working with? Or what producers rather? Um, I've worked with a long list of producers. I know OJ Beach as well, Celebaba. Oh yes. Uh, 
flip ties, yeah. um, Phil Keys. Mm. The list is very long. Um, about collaborations with other artists. As well, yes, collaborations. But my songs, the songs are not mine. I have, I've done several collabs with that around Africa. It's 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 massive. Both for the album, not for the mm. album as well. Uh, be expecting more of this works mm. out online real soon and on your TV screens. Speaking um, of collaborations, I saw that you are in the studio with our the other week. How did that happen? <laughs> Man, you won't believe this guy. He's based in London. Awilo is based in London. It was like a, it was like I was dreaming and I was just seeing Awilo. He really, he 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 came to Nigeria and he wanted to work with me. The first time someone called me to tell me, I thought it was a prank. Like really, Awilo just came to Nigeria and then he wants to just work with me. Huh? Oh, I was I was on my media tour, so I traveled to Ghana. I went to Kenya. In Kenya, they called me again. This guy wants to work with you. Said, you guys should just stop pranking me. And then. A day before we traveled to Tanzania, we got a call that this guy is leaving for London tomorrow. He really wants to work with you. And I come to the studio and lo and behold, it's him in flesh. Like it's the Awilo. I was just born when this guy made his first trip to Nigeria. And I'm working with him. Like really, he was featuring me. He wants to feature me now. now that's a mind mind blowing and one of the reasons he said he wanted to feature me was that because I mentioned his song in his name in Johnny. He danced Awilo. He see, he sing a willow, he dance, uh, dance this mm. ago, he sing a willow, and I lie, and I lie, and I Pinocchio. Mm. That's, that was one of his major, like, no, my sister, you called my name, I'm a carry on my back like a horse. I'm like, okay, great stuff, sir, thank you. Right. <laughs> with the, are you working with any female artists? Oh, day? yeah, definitely. Are you one of the people that think that females don't support each other? Because a lot of female artists seem to complain about that. Do you, are you guys united, really? Do you know what I really, 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 really think? I'm tired of um, being asked this question and saying, yes, 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 we don't carry each you other. The the tr what I think is that, as always, charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. If if we're going to continue con complaining about the problem, then I'm just not ready to solve it. So why don't we all just start doing something different? You know, so that's what I'll say. If you're going to have time for each other, then you will, because the guys seem to always have time for each other. But I'm not going to go on and on and about, about this that. old story. Well, what female artists have you worked with, though, if any? Uh, I have worked with a few on my album, and like I said before, I like to keep it on the wraps. And mm -hmm. when the album drops in no time, you know. You when is it dropping? To... September? Yes, yeah, September. Uh, a due date should be released by the end of this month, anyways. Mm. Yeah. And how many more singles are you going to put out before that? How many more singles? Maybe one or two. Maybe. Maybe one or two. I see you've been touring a lot lately, big crowds. Crazy, huh? How? How has the experience been in all these Pakistan countries? Amazing! First of all, I'd like to thank my mommy. Mommy, thank you for sending me to good schools where I learned how to speak French. Thank you, mama. Because I go with my team and everybody's looking like, huh? What are they saying? Huh? Huh? I'm not saying I'm 100% French speaking lady, but I can say myself. Trust me. You can't sell me. Not for anything. I can <laughs> order my food. I can tell the driver I'm going there. I can tell you to shut up as well. <laughs> you know, but um, it's been a great privilege so far. And I'd, I'd love to learn French totally by the end of the year and um, other languages as well. People mm. won't even hear Johnny in Swahili. Like, really? Hold up, I I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> One day Cole's video dropped this morning. Uh -huh. It's really big. Even though you're in London here. Yeah. I know, right? I'm sure you haven't been online, but I've been. And it's, a lot of people are talking about the fact that you are in it. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot what of people are talking. What are they saying now? You're not too tired. They're saying everything. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so mm. how did that come about? And are you ready for the dating rumors that will come? What's going on, Sammy? Oh, well. Oh, well. How did that come day. about for the It of? just it just happened and I, I must say that I am privileged and really blessed to have gotten the opportunity to even though it's not like I featured on a song but just being affiliated with a band, a brand like one like, one like really I used to dance and sing to his songs when I was in secondary school, like he's a boss, you know, mm -hmm. so uh, big ups to you one day. Yeah. You be cool. Uh -huh. yeah, man, thank you, Yemi. We are looking forward to your album. Appreciate.